developing story out of the Treasure Coast where fishermen and environmentalists are talking about this fish caught over the weekend. It's a sheep's head with what appears to be that red lesion or tumor on it. Covering the Treasure Coast with the largest news team, John Shaneman is live at the Stewart Causeway with more on their concerns. John? Well, Kelly, again, the health of the Indian River Lagoon has been in the news for many months now. You just saw that Contact 5 report. And while there are no health advisories for humans to be in the water right now, the question is, does that picture of that fish is that a sign of things to come? Now, as for that sheep's head, it was caught over the weekend uh, just south of the C-23 Canal in Palm City in Bessie Creek. Uh, Mark Perry with the Florida Oceanographic Society told me just a short while ago it is likely a tumor that formed when something in the water chemistry affected the fish's skin. They've caused these fish with lesions before, and, um, you know, it's, it's pretty much uh, an indicator Something's going on. It's sad because this this summer the fish the fish just aren't here anymore. You might get lucky every now and then, but you know it's not like it was. Now Perry said there have been eight incidents in the last three decades where 33 different species of fish have turned up with lesions, most of them connected to the freshwater discharges uh, from Lake Okeechobee during the summertime. We have not seen a massive lesion event in at least a decade. 1998 was also a large lesion event. What Perry is asking folks to do is if you see pictures or if you see fish like this, take pictures, send them to them, so that way they can maybe compile something to see if there is some sort of pattern developing. We're live tonight in Stewart, John Shane, WPTV News Channel 5.